What do you think? I We're love ready to it. I'm ready for the now. circus now. Let me put on this jacket. See? We can at least look like we belong to the circus, even <laughs> if we can't do all the acts we've been watching. Oh, and I love things with <laughs> bling. I remember as a kid growing up, like, wasn't that such a the cool more part of the circus? Bling, seeing, the better. Seeing what all the performers would come out in. What yes. do we think? This can is you so see the back cool. of it? Oh, I love that. All the, all Isn't that the cool? stones and sequins. Well, how about we find out a little more about who creates these beautiful, eye-catching wardrobe pieces. So, Kelsey, come in Kelsey, here. Kelsey, yeah. welcome to our show. Thank you for being here. Thanks yes. for having us. Yes. yes. Yeah. Everything looks amazing. Yes. Um, so, our costumes are designed by Donna Oak. Um, she's worked with Ringling for many years, um, even before uh, they closed down. Now that we're back, they, oh, of so course, she's back. That's one yes, they brought her back as well. Um, she's worked with a lot of the performers before, too. Um, so, she's able to kind of talk to them, make sure that all the costumes don't just look great, but fit the need of what the performers need right. to do for their acts. That's a big part of yes. it because I'm watching all of them and they're doing these just, uh, I mean, feats that are right. out of this world. Yes. And yeah. I'm sure it needs to be movable and breathable. Mm -hmm. So that way they can move around and, and be comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. Time. It's not just about looking great. They easily look fantastic. Right. But when you're doing things like balancing on top of someone's head right. or being <laughs> shot out of a cannon, <laughs> you need to make sure that the costume is going to let your body move the way they need it to, that they're not mm. getting caught on anything, that they're not getting caught on each other. Right. Um, all of that is kept in mind when they're in the design process with these and that, costumes. And that is a lot to keep in mind. Yeah, because it then can become dangerous. Yes. If the costume gets in the way of the mm -hmm, performance, absolutely. What's well, kind of is there a theme? Yeah. With the, I don't, or is it just? I don't like. Do you try to keep true to? Are there things that you incorporate of Ringling over the years that you? Stays um, with yeah. the design process? There's definitely a, a color palette that's used throughout the show. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's kind of a cohesive look with all the performers. Those bright colors. Um, but also, it's enough of a difference that each troupe stands out. You're able to tell who's right. all together. And I bet this all these amazing. bedazzled pieces catch in the light. When oh, yes. Light. Yeah. They're, they're like human disco balls. It's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> well, I want to know, just like us, if we, you know, we're eating a hot dog and we spill mustard on it before we go on the air, do you have backup clothing? Or <laughs> say they rip their costume get, getting shot out of a can. Yes. Um, so each act has at least one backup of every costume because as you said, it's entirely possible they're about to go on stage last second. There's a rip or tear. We need to have right. a backup. Uh, but then sometimes even the backup of the backup rips. And yeah, that's why yes. we have a team here with every show that's ready to take care of um, any repairs or alterations. Um, yeah. The cleanliness of the costumes is yeah. huge. Kelsey, do you mind that's to pull out a couple team. of these oh, maybe absolutely. closer to you? Yeah. And those that are right um, by you. So who wears we, what in the show? Right here, um, this kind of red gold. This is part of our troop brothers. Uh, they're mm -hmm. from Mongolia. Okay. Um, this costume is meant to reflect um, Mongolian armor of old. Uh, they wear this yeah. during their uh, teeterboard scene. It's fantastic. And I see Arjun dance. Uh, up you here, that? yes, you saw our Arjun yes. dance friends earlier. Um, Donna worked with them to kind of reflect. Um, this pattern here is called um, Guarda Pampa. It's oh, part gorgeous. of the uh, caballeros from Argentina, so it kind of reflects their culture. That's beautiful. Um, here we have, um, this is from our uh, dual That's Wheel of beautiful. Destiny. As you can see, everything is covered in hundreds of rhinestones. Yes. When you take in the fact that we have over 70 performers, mm -hmm. each costume easily has over 100 rhinestones on it. That's thousands of rhinestones. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Well, it's a lot and of all the big kids in yes. the world, so um, <laughs> maybe those of us that remember the ringling of past grew up in the years of denim jackets being a super <laughs> cool thing. So I'm glad to see that denim jackets are making a comeback. Yes, bring it back. Pull this out to dazzle it. I like At least, this. you know, maybe wear it to the show or something. You know, <laughs> feel like feel like I'm a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is so cool. I feel like it it fits. It looks good, I think, yeah. I think we Maybe. should wear these on the news later today. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Start a new trip. Yeah, we'll see everybody this evening. And then, uh, Kelsey, this has been great. It's, it's yes. fun to learn the behind the scenes. It is. And I love Absolutely. that you all stay true to Ringling and incorporate mm -hmm. yeah. all those beautiful bright colors in this. Thank you for showing us how these costumes are made. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And when we come back, the, the really important information, Susan, everybody now is wondering, how do we go? Where do we right. get our tickets? So we're going to give you a show overview, yeah. share what's brand new, and also the showtimes with you yeah. right after this. We'll get you we ready up. for the next show. <laughs>